I spent two years with each. So Jerry Claiborne, who, uh, for those that remember that, the sort of uh, college football historians, uh, he was a head coach of Maryland for a long time. He, he eventually left to join his alumni uh, and become the head coach at the University of Kentucky. He wanted to, wanted to finish that way. Couldn't blame him for that. But he, but he really learned how to coach. Um, Jerry Claiborne did uh, from uh, Bear Bryant. So uh, he played for Bear Bryant. And then he uh, joined his staff and, and, and came off the, the Bear Bryant coaching tree. So uh, the, those uh, Southern Baptist uh, 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 principles and, and, and values were instilled in us as, as a football team. And a lot of things that would be uh, considered uh, politically incorrect uh, in today's day and age, including uh, nobody on the team was uh, allowed to have uh, hair that was, that was longer than the, than the bottom of their ear. And nobody was allowed to have facial hair, All right? And, and that sounds like it must have been 200 years ago, but that yeah. <laughs> was that, that was 1980, that was 80 and 81. And um, and when he left, and went to Kentucky. We it was really a blessing in, dis in disguise because uh, of the of the guy that 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 was hired to take his, his spot, and that's Bobby Ross, who had been for some years a the special teams and running backs coach with the Kansas City Chiefs under the, the uh, head coach of uh, Marv Levy. And uh, Bobby Ross was, was very, very uh, prepared to take over as his, uh, and, and lead Maryland. That was his first head coaching job, I believe. And, um, and he brought the, a pro-style offense. I wish he would have brought a pro-style defense a little bit sooner than he did because yeah. uh, we were playing an antiquated defense. But, um, uh, but he was... Um, I got to believe that uh, the, the, the greatest benefactors for, was everybody that lined up on the offensive side of the ball, particularly at the skilled positions because of the offense that he ran, which was a pro style offense. And he brought that right to the, the ACC and Boomer Esaias and meet. And then after him, Frank Reich uh, immediately uh, began to dominate.